Hi, and welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, July 17, 2010. This week, shape up number one, creating a rounded rectangle frame. When the viewer emailed me to ask me how to make a rounded rectangle frame, I thought it would be a great topic for the Tip of the Week. And then I thought it would make an even better series. This week is the first in a number of tips that will show you how to work with shapes to create really simple and interesting accents for your digital projects. To create a rounded rectangle frame, begin by opening a new document in Photoshop or Elements. Set the foreground color to a color that contrasts with your background. For this page, I'm going to make a white frame to frame this photo right here. Next, get the rounded rectangle tool. It's positioned here with the rectangle tool and the custom shape tool. It's the second one in the list. Don't confuse this with the rectangular marquee tool, which is here. If you're working in Photoshop, the next step is to choose the Shape Layers icon here. It's the first one in the row of icons in the Options bar. And then adjust the radius. The radius is how round the corners are. For the sample, I chose a radius of 40 pixels but you'll need to play with this. A higher number will give you softer, rounder corners, while a lower number will give you sharper corners. Next, click and draw out a rectangle on your document. If you hold the Shift key when you drag, it will create a rounded square instead of a rectangle. Notice how the shape is created on its own layer here in the Layers panel. Making sure that this shape layer is selected, choose Layer, Rasterize Layer, or if you're working in Photoshop Elements, choose Layer Simplify Layer. This makes your shape layer editable, and if you look in the Layers panel now, you'll see that your shape layer looks more like a regular layer that you're used to seeing. Next, Control click or on a Mac system, Command click on the thumbnail here of the rectangle layer to make a selection. You'll see that marching ants are now surrounding your rectangle on your document. Next, choose Select, Modify, Contract from the menu bar, and type in a number in the box. The larger the number, the thicker your frame will be. I'm going to contract by about 40 pixels and click OK. Now you'll see that the marching ants aren't around the outside edge of your rounded rectangle anymore, but they're slightly inset. This is what you want. Now you can make sure that the shape layer is selected and press backspace or delete on your keyboard to delete the center section of the rounded rectangle. This erases the center of your frame, and then you can press Ctrl D or on a Mac system Command D to remove the marching ants. You can use this technique to create a slide mount, too. Just create a rounded rectangle and simplify it or rasterize it. And then get the rectangular marquee tool here and draw a selection with square corners inside and press delete or backspace on your keyboard to delete the center of the slide mount. Then press Ctrl D or on a Mac system Command D to remove the selection and you've got a frame that you can use with your photos on your digital document. Check back next week for another fun shape that you can make to add pizzazz to your digital project. See you next week! You better shape up, cause I need a